Step number one, go to the download page on the Beeloader website. I will put the download link in the description so you can come to this exact page I'm on. Then you're going to want to download the Beeloader manager and you're going to also want to download the stable firmware. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to click on this. It's going to take me to this website here, manager driver. Just download both of them. Click download here when it takes you to Mediafire. Okay, that's been downloaded. I'm going to go back to the web page again. So I'm just going to go, go, go back here and, and choose Super Manager 1.3 download. Download that as well. Then I'm going to go back to the main B Loader download page and I'm also going to get the stable firmware. Click on that there. Stable firmware here. So I'm going to put links to all these downloads. So you can either go to the main B Loader download page or you can go straight and click on those links and it will download these files straight away. All right. So for step number two, I have all my files here downloaded. This is my downloads folder on Windows 11. I am going to be extracting all of these folders and I'm going to be making use of B Loader Manager 1, uh, version 1.4. Um, so how do I extract? Simply right click go to extract all this is what it looks like on windows 11 on windows 10 it will look something like this you still go to extract all when this window pops up you simply click extract and that's it i'm going to do that for each one of these folders just to make sure you guys understand how to do it in the future as well so bloader version 1.4 has been extracted i'm going to go to manager driver 1.0 next i don't think we'll need this one for now but just in case right click again extract all click extract that's done as well. Very quick. Super Manager 1.3 might as well. I am going to be using version 1.4. Uh, I used version 1.3 in my previous video. So I'm going to be using version 1.4 in this one. Right click, extract all, click extract. That's done and dusted. B Loader update. Now, this is what is probably going to be the main thing for most people if you have the B Loader from before this video was released, because they, there might have been updates. So, right click again extract all and extract when you go to the below the website if you go to the website way after this video has been released there might be more updates so you should double check that you download the most recent update for your version of the b loader quick change of plans i'm going to be sticking with b loader version 1.3 so super manager version 1.3 as i find that 1.4 for me is a bit buggy it doesn't detect my b loader even when i follow the instructions of holding down the button so again, I'm going to go to super version 1.3. So I'm going to click on that. So again, this is in my downloads folder, right? I'm going to go to my downloads folder where I extracted my files originally. Maybe it's a good idea if I get rid of these for now. Let's just move these out of here for the time being. I'm in my downloads folder, super manager version 1.3. Double click on the folder, go into that one, double click on that folder as well. And you're going to see B loader here. I'm going to double click on that. It's going to come up with this. You're going to click next. Make sure you want to run it. It says Beeloader not found, which is perfectly fine because mine is not plugged in at the moment. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do an upgrade first. That's probably the best thing to do first. To do an upgrade, make sure you have the latest firmware, the latest version of the software needed on the actual Beeloader. I'm going to press and hold down the button on the Beeloader and I'm going to plug it into the USB port on my laptop. So press and hold and I'm going to insert now. Once I insert, I release that button. And as you can clearly see on my screen here, it says B Loader found, which is perfect. That's what I want. As I said, I'm going to go to upgrade first. I'm going to upgrade the firmware, upgrade the software on the actual B Loader. Click on that. Select firmware, uh, select upgrade firmware, sorry. I'm going to click on that. It's going to open a browse window and you're going to simply go to, well, in my case, it's going to be my, my downloads folder. I'm going to go to where it says uh, B Loader update. This is the most recent one. I already have the update, but I'm just showing the process again. Because as you can see, the numbers here correlate with the numbers that I have here. So I already have the latest version, but I'm still showing just the process. Okay. I'm going to go into that folder and there's a file called update.bin for bin. I'm going to click on that once. Then I'm going to go down here and click open. And I'm simply going to click on where it says upgrade here. This might take a while. So I'm going to speed this part of the video up because it does take a bit of time. There we go. That's finished. So the upgrade has now been finished. And the next step is going to be the configuration. What I have done just to make sure everything is okay is I've unplugged my B loader and I've closed my B loader software. 
So I'm going to start again from scratch just to make sure the configuration process is as seamless as possible. I'm going to double click on the B-Loader software again. You guys are going to see a black screen, but what comes up is, are you sure you want to allow this app to make changes, blah, blah, blah. You're going to click yes. When this, this is going to be the app screen that comes up again. This time I'm going to um, hold on the pairing button, plug it into the Belo, um, my laptop again, sorry. So plug that into my laptop. You heard that, it says b loader found. So instead of going to upgrade this time, I'm going to go to configuration. This is the screen you're going to be greeted with. Now this is where you actually need to set up your b loader itself. So put all the settings in here for it to communicate and, and for it to do what it needs to do. First things first, click on the first link, number one that says click here to set up your PSN account. This is going to open a new tab and inside that new tab, you're going to have to log in to your PlayStation account. So my email address is already there. I'm going to click next. I'm going to blur my screen so you guys don't see my details. I'm going to click sign in when it asks for password. I have two factor authentication on my account. So it's going to ask me for a separate code. If you don't have this, that's perfectly fine. Just go ahead. If you do have it, you should know how to get into this section here. Now that I've logged in, as you can see, it says redirect here. I'm going to copy the URL, so the link in the web address section, right? I'm going to simply highlight everything. I'm going to right click on that section and I'm going to select copy or cut. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to go copy. I'm going to go back to my B loader software. So this thing here, and I'm simply going to click here after you success, after you copy successfully and wait for the PSN ID to be displayed. So all you have to do at this stage is simply click here after you've copied. So make sure you copy from the web page that link. You click here and just wait. On the right hand side, mine's been blurred out, but it populates that small section there. The next thing you need to do, you need to put in your Wi Fi details, so your internet details. Whenever you search on your mobile phone or laptop, you're going to know your Wi Fi account is going to be the name of the Wi Fi, so the SSID name. And Wi Fi password is obviously the SSID key, the WPS key, whatever it is that you have to type in to your laptop or phone to connect to your Wi-Fi. So I know mine, I'm gonna enter my details here. Okay, so I've entered my Wi-Fi details. Now the last thing I need to do, I need to actually go onto my PS5 and get a code from the PS5 itself. On your PS5, you're gonna to go to settings. I mean, I just go up to the top and go over to settings there. I'm gonna to go to settings and then it says I need to go to system. So system is down here. I'm going to then go to where it says remote play, remote play here. Um, remote play for me is already enabled. But what I need to do is a link device. So I'm going to go down here where it says link device. Make sure, please ensure that your, your check is on the right hand side. So this is turned on. I'm going to click link device and I'm going to enter that code that showed up on my TV into the box, that very last box. I'm going to do my code, you do yours. You only have about five minutes for this to time out, so please make sure you hurry up. After I've done that, all I need to do at this stage is to click save. And there you go, configuration saved successfully and you are finished. That's how you configure your B loader. I've shown the upgrade, that's everything. Hopefully this video was useful. I tried to make it as short as I could, but showing all the steps I needed to show. Thank you guys for watching.